Um, I shut out my insides for five days, um, yeah. didn't eat for four, and then developed post-infection IBS. <laughs> fuck you, Weight Watchers, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, so I was quite happy with that. Um, and actually, I think the weight loss was coupled by the fact that I recently gave up chocolate for Lent. Yeah? Um, I got asked a lot why I gave up chocolate and not something like booze, uh, to which I was replied, well, I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> Why would I give up something as difficult as booze? And I think you'll find, like most other English people, if you give up booze, you also give up your chance of having sex. <laughs> That's not a risk I'm willing to take. Not in spring. <laughs> no. um, and also, at the time, I got told quite a lot that I reminded people of a young Vanessa Feltz. Yeah, as if a young makes it some sort of compliment. <laughs> So uh, I got quite upset about that, and I remember being so distraught that I rang my mate, and I was like, Hun, do I remind people of Vanessa Belt? She's like, oh yeah! But not just the looks, the personality too! Oh god, that's even worse. Even worse. And I, I'm quite used to insults, you know, I'm blonde, I'm from Croydon. Oh, Woo. <laughs> everyone from Croydon here has died. Um, and I actually drive a Fiat Cinquecento. For those of you that don't know, uh, Chicacento is about this big. So it's really hard to look cool in a Chicacento. And the horn is kind of like a toy horn. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> so, you know, I'm always getting cut up by vans and other drivers, you know, right in front of me. So I think, ha! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> sure you can imagine the response. <laughs> Piss off, love. <laughs> Poor little car. Um, so I actually went out on my first date when I was 16. Yeah, and uh, the guy in question was going to come and pick me up from my house um, in a taxi, Croydon cars, classy. And uh, we were going to go to this underage disco together. Um, so the night in question arrives, and I'm waiting in the front room, all excited. Uh, my mum was upstairs in the lounge, um, in the shower, getting ready for her own night out. And I see him pull up, and I was like, oh my god, he turned up, yay! So I uh, smoothed down my purple corduroys and legged it out there. Um, so when I got to the car, I realised that he was paying for it. So I thought, oh, I thought we were going to be going out somewhere. He was like, oh no, I thought we'd hang at yours first. I said, okay, alright. Bit presumptuous, but sure, let's go back in the house. Meanwhile, my mum, who was so excited that I'd finally been asked out on this date, uh, decided she's got to get a look at the guy, right? So she gets out of the shower, completely starkers, creeps downstairs, and peeks out the front room. So as she's peeking, she says it's coming back up the pub. So she thinks, shit, shit, what am I going to do? What am I possibly going to do? I wrap myself in the curtain. I'll just stay in the curtain. I just thought, no, that's ridiculous. I can't do that. I'll go hide in the cupboard. I'll just go hide in the cupboard. But then again, she had a vision of me coming in, opening up the cupboard, and she's in there nude, squatting. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to work. So instead, she picks option number three. I've got the key in the door, he's behind me. I open up the door, she comes streaking out the lounge, screaming, You can't come in, I'm naked! <laughs> and then streaks up the stairs. <laughs> and you know how they say you shouldn't look directly at an eclipse? <laughs> but you're always doing like, <gasps> And I was mortified. I didn't know what to say. What do you say to salvage this? I was like, <sighs> I turned to him and say, you know, if you play your cards right, you'll get to see the younger version of that later. <laughs> yeah, he didn't laugh. He didn't find that funny. And, and I was gutted. I, you know, awful, awful first day. Um, but on the plus side, at school, the nickname was uh, changed to Mother Streaker. Big improvement on fatty. So I was quite shocked with that. So, everyone looking forward to the summer? Yeah! yeah. Anyone missing the snow? Yeah. You know, one person missing the snow. Um, I really, really hated it when it snowed because my train service, South Eastern, they decided to run a Saturday service. And I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to run a Saturday service at work. Turned up, sat at my desk, 
had a bacon sandwich and a wank with the dog. Anyway, I've been Sarah Alves, you've been lovely, have a good night. <laughs>